on the previous episode, um, Jason Ho and Moif Gada, the authors of the book, The Big Plot, uh, talked about uh, how TSMC was the most powerful country and the most powerful company in the world. And uh, there was a bit of discussion about how Trump had a negative attitude towards um, Taiwan uh, stealing the American semiconductor industry. But however, recently, Trump changed his attitude and uh, became somewhat friendly to TSMC. So I'd like to ask why. This is a very interesting question. And uh, people love President Trump. He always say President Trump is a person focused on American and uh, focused on American own benefit and uh, want to make America great. But the people against President Trump also the same reason. And they claim Trump is a businessman. He only look at the profit. They only look at the benefits, but they don't look at the fundamental things about the nation. This is not only about the profits and benefit. This is about many things behind national security, the culture, the sovereignty, the land, the people. So those things, and uh, definitely for a person, and when we want to talk about a president, a leader, especially Trump looks like a world leader, the most powerful nation in the world, suddenly have such dramatic attitude change. It's very hard for people to digest what is happening there. But for Trump, definitely for his reason, it's very simple and it's for American benefit or American profit. So what's your take on that? Um, I'm not happy about his change, actually. Um, the Japanese view is you are not American, uh, so you don't need to be a supporter for Trump because you think about the Japanese benefit. Mm, because um, Trump was the only hope for me as a Japanese. He can, he's the only one can fight against TSMC because actually TSMC dominate world semiconductor manufacturing. Mm. Trump should have take action against it. And because Trump said himself, TSMC take away its control worldwide, 98% chip market. Trump used the word monopoly. Yeah. Monopoly is a crime. Monopoly is a crime. Not only in the US, everywhere in Japan, monopoly also a crime. But the Trump say, TSMC monopolize 98% worldwide chip market. Trump is the US president, right? Yes. He, he thinks like he's the great TSMC. You can monopolize the semiconductor world. Just, just a year ago, he criticized Taiwan yes. to dominate, to to steal technology and uh, market from America. And not the two years ago, only two months ago, he said the same mm. thing. And also before the inauguration, he stated very clearly he wanted to put a hundred percent tariff on TSMC yeah. because. Uh, they monopolized the chip market. They must do something it, to resolve the situation. He didn't say TSMC, but the, he said Taiwan. Yes, Taiwan, because the TSMC, and you know how Taiwanese talk about the TSMC. Taiwanese talk about the TSMC is the protector and the set of Taiwan, because this is the most important company in the world. Every chip you use, every computer runs, every technology you need today, they need a TSMC chip. So TSMC failed, this world stopped. That's Taiwanese belief. In that sense, no one can touch Taiwan because you touch Taiwan, TSMC will collapse or TSMC will not give out the chip to anyone. The world stops. So for the purpose, protect TSMC, make TSMC good, and uh, everyone must protect Taiwan. So they say it's the Taiwan's protector. Probably you heard it only in the in science fiction movie. And also they are a guard or the or the stand about Taiwan to make sure Taiwan, no one can touch it. Probably I've heard the story in Japan, talk about the TSMC. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and also TSMC is very important for Japanese. They say that only TSMC can run the same kind of business. I remember. Or the, the, yeah, every news report saying that, but I don't agree with that. I don't know. Well, what part you don't agree with the news article? Oh, I don't agree with the news article because Japan was number one for semiconductor produce. Because we have to look into depth. Because semiconductor is not a chip manufacturing. And uh, when our book, we make an analogy. Also, we can make another example as well. 
TSMC just a manufacturer. There's no chip. Brand name is called the TSMC. There's none. TSMC doesn't design any chip. There's no chip designed by TSMC. TSMC just a contract manufacturer. And so we talk about the book industry. And uh, we have also read a book, like us read a book, mm -hmm. we can earn very small money. And, uh, and, uh, and you need to have a, uh, and uh, like Amazon or any, any, any publisher to publish your book, to distribute the market. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of marketing work, ask people to buy. Even I lose my hair to write this book. And uh, we work so hard and uh, still we earn very small money. Mm, yeah. But every book needs to be printed. We need a printing company. Yes. So if we talk about the book industry, if we come back to semiconductor industry, TSMC just like a printing company. They print chips. So they have uh, designers, just like uh, book authors, they design a chip. And uh, they have uh, distributors and uh, just like uh, publishers to sell the chip. They have a company responsible for that uh, chip. Like uh, if we book under some publisher, we are under the brand name of that publisher. So there's a whole ecosystem of the semiconductor industry from the materials, mm -hmm. from the design, from the manufacturing machines, from the and the manufacturing process, standards, testing, packaging, until the distribution. It's a very long supply chain. Actually, surprisingly, Japan is the key player for it. Yeah. Um Actually, Japan is the semiconductor material number, number one. one world. Number one. Number one. World. Also, the SME is the one of the three countries. Yeah, sem also. semiconductor manufacturing uh, equipment. Yes. Equipment is it's, the number it's one. It's Germany and Japan Germany. and America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only three nations can do that. And the Japan is the leader. And also the packaging, Japan number one. And the image sensor, Japan number one. And the talk about the papers, Patents, actually Japan is number one. So why suddenly all the newspaper talk about they must have a TSMC Japan? I don't understand why. This is the, so that's why Trump said this is a very powerful company. And I don't Most understand powerful. why the Japanese government gave out all the material technology to the TSMC and all the SME technology to the TSMC. Whatever we have, we have to give out all all the technology to the TSMC. Yes. So that's explain the Trump change. Let, let me talk about the story. And uh, in 1990s, I worked with IBM. And uh, that's the wonderful years. It was my best memory of my life as a professional work. IBM has so much amazing inventions. IBM was leader almost every sector of the world. We talk about network, semiconductor, computers, imaging machines almost everything, and IBM, like a treasure mountain, so much technology. But the people, I should say the executives in IBM, they are very happy to keep up those technology as a free. And probably we can remember, do you and technology give up for free? Mm -hmm. And the semiconductor manufacturing process, we give up for free. And uh, they give out the network division for free. They give out the server and the group for free. They give up so many free. Like artificial intelligence? Yes, AI was part of it. Why why they do that? Because executives, they don't worry about the company. They worry about their own benefit. When you give up something very, very valuable to people for free, what does that mean? People must give you something equivalent back. Mm -hmm. They have to give you back. When it's free, which is no string attached to the IBM, IBM legal, IBM and the and the shareholders cannot come back to harm those executives because they give up for free. But the, the receiving part, when they receive this for free, they are so happy, they are so thrilled. They must offer something as appreciation. So we have learned so much story. Unfortunately, myself cannot verify any one of those is true or not. But the people talk about executives, people in charge, they're becoming billionaires just giving out the technology. So... We look at the Japan, it's about the same thing. Yeah, like a shop. <laughs> yes, they keep out the shop and they give out the many, many things. So we have an easy conclusion. Why Trump changed his attitude? Because look at the biggest shareholder of TSMC. Who is that? 
Black Rock. Yes, that's a magic word. Black Rock. That's a magic word. So if you don't know the Black Rock, please start to search. Start to search what is Black Rock. And uh, Black Rock is a horrible word. So let me clarify it. So number one shareholder for TSMC is Taiwan government, but it's Taiwan government investment. But uh, on and uh, under Taiwan government, TSMC is the number two. So Black Rock is very large investors, shareholders, benefit holders for TSMC. So probably that explained a lot. Why Trump have sudden attitude change? Thank you, Jason O and Moef Kadar.